Happy Monday, uh, more specifically, happy Monday in advance of Fat Tuesday, which is in advance of Ash Wednesday. <clears throat> Years ago, I saw a Dilbert cartoon in which the pointy-haired boss said to Wally, uh, Dilbert's sort of ne'er-do-well cubicle colleague, and he said, uh, we, we we're going to have a planning meeting for the meeting uh, next week. And Wally said, whoa, I, I just can't go waltzing into a planning meeting uh, for a meeting without having a planning meeting for the planning meeting. And then the next uh, last cubicle says, the last frame in the cartoon says, uh, welcome to the planning meeting for the planning meeting for the planning meeting for the meeting. And uh, Dilbert looks at Wally and says, you think you're cute, but you're really not. You know? So uh, talking about... Um, the Monday before Fat Tuesday seems a little bit like we're backing up uh, like that. But um, look, we're taking an, uh, an extended break, a Lenten break from the Minor Prophets in order to focus on the 40 days that lead up to Easter. There's actually 46, but we don't count Sundays. And um, 40 is this, this whole idea of Lent. Uh, 40 is a biblical idea. You know, there's 40 days of flooding and 40 years in the wilderness and Jesus fasted for 40 days. But this whole idea of Lent comes out of a calendar developed by the church in the Middle Ages. So this is not necessarily a biblical thing, but there's an opportunity here for us to lean in. And so um, tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. Um, this is the day that New Orleans generally goes for broke. Um, Mardi Gras is the big festival, so Marty is Tuesday, Gr uh, Gras is uh, fat. So this is, um, this is now a big uh, music and food celebration, lots of activity generally deemed to be sinful, excessive drinking, public nudity, and the like. Uh, the idea has become you need to do everything you can, uh, everything you want to do now, because once Lent begins, you're going to have to be good. Um, look. The season of Lent can be a, a spiritual opportunity here. Uh, now, um, it can be something that we leverage to be more reflective of uh, who we are and of our sin and of Christ on the cross and all of that. Now, like any good thing, we can make it a bad thing. And we could make it a bad thing in one of two very different ways. One is we can act like somehow during Lent, if we're going to step up our game, so to speak, engage in more spiritual habits, we're going to fast from something, or we're going to do some extra act of service, we can assume that we are somehow earning God's favor, uh, which is not at all the case. We're, we, just, we also become proud of doing that. We can become self-righteous uh, Pharisees, like the older brother in the parable of the prodigal son. Um, or the other way we can get this wrong is to engage in Fat Tuesday and to say, well, I need to hurry up and sin and do everything wrong, and then I'll confess my sin on, uh, on Ash Wednesday and be good through Lent. Um, look, that's that kind of thinking. We see a little bit, Paul reflects on that a little bit in Romans 6, where he says, should I sin more so that grace would abound? A absolutely not. Sin always has consequences. We can be forgiven spiritually, but we may still... Uh, reap the repercussions of our sin, uh, and additionally, we, we lose uh, any upside, any reward in heaven. So, look, um, Fat Tuesday has no references to Scripture at all. Uh, it, it comes out of this, um, some, some bad ideas. Perhaps it's got pagan festival roots to it. Uh, seems to be some, maybe some ideas of like the temple prostitutes back in the Old Testament, the uh, there, was that, there was that whole thing. Um, in more recent days, it's gone in different directions now. I think in Germany, they have like, they call it Pancake Tuesday. And uh, in Mardi Gras, they got these cakes that they bake. And they put a, a, a little baby doll in one of them and a little toy trinket. And if you find it, you're supposed to get good luck. And then some people say it's baby Jesus. And, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where any of this stuff comes from. Uh, the church... The Catholic Church is sometimes referred to this as Shrove Tuesday because you're supposed to get ready for Ash Wednesday, so you're supposed to go to confession and be shriven of your sins. That's also not much I know anything about. Um, but I am saying this is not a time to sort of try and get sin out of your system. Tomorrow is not that. Um, but it can be 
this whole process can be a helpful one. I'm gonna to talk tomorrow about fasting because that can be a theme uh, during Lent. But uh, let me just say that, um, that there is an opportunity during Lent for us to be more aware of, uh, of our sin and the consequences of our sin. To personalize, it's not, I just wrote about this for the Friday update, which will come out tomorrow, and I'm recording this on Thursday, so we're a week ahead. But uh, so in last Friday's update, I spoke a little bit about this, that um, we, uh, we are to personalize sin. It's not that Jesus died for the sins of the world. It's that Jesus died for my sin, my greed, my lust, my anger, my smallness. Uh, and so it's during the next 40 days that we are going to walk through Matthew uh, and be a little bit more alert to all uh, that prepares us for the cross. And we don't look to Easter yet. So uh, more tomorrow. We'll talk about fasting. Have a good day.